Hello and welcome to the Forcetronics blog and YouTube channel. I'm excited to bring you part three of building a smart thermostat. This is the conclusion. This is the finished product here we're going to see in this project. And so if you remember in part two, we added the Bluetooth communication capability to the thermostat. Well, in part three, we build the app. So now we can control our smart thermostat via an Android device. To build the Android app, I use the MIT App Inventor 2, which is a web-based program for building Android apps using a graphical programming language. And it's totally free to use. It's easy to use compared to text programming. And here you see the link to get started. So here's the App Inventor 2 interface, and you're looking at the UI or the user interface of the app that I built to control the thermostat. Real quick, on App Inventor, it's really easy to use compared to text programming an Android app. They have plenty of tutorials. It's free to use. Just go to it, start doing the tutorials. Here I built my interface. You know, I have a button to connect and disconnect. I'll show the current temperature. I'll show my heat setting, my cool setting. I use these checkboxes to turn the cool or heat or fan on. And then I have this button to update a setting whenever I change a setting. Then if I go to the block section, that's where the actual code is. And once again, it's a graphical programming language, so it's similar to LabVIEW or V if you know those, if you're in the engineering world. I can pull out my pieces to build it using, for instance, here's control. I can build an if statement here. I can build a for loop using my individual button commands. I can, you know, if someone clicks a button, it'll do this and whatever's inside of this block. Once again, check out the tutorials to get started. I've collapsed all my procedures and all my buttons and stuff. So if I expand this one, uh, let's go to a, a better button. This is actually one of the main buttons here, the connect button. So if I expand this button, you can see all of my code in there. So when the connect button is pressed, I do a Bluetooth connection. You can see I hard coded in the address of my Bluetooth, of my thermostat Bluetooth. You can have, you can choose it from a menu or can hard code it. I then send, and remember if you're familiar with part two, I then send a packet to tell the thermostat that I'm ready to communicate. And then I receive the reply from the thermostat. The thermostat's gonna send its current state data. You know, what is the temperature? What is the AC setting? What is the heat setting? And that's gonna be received in this function here, which I'll show you in a bit. And then in all these, I parse through my state, get the information, and then display it. For So this is one of the main functions in the, uh, the program. I'm going to collapse it back up. I mentioned the receive. Here is the receive message. So if I expand this block, this is going to get the message from my Bluetooth or from the thermostat using Bluetooth. So I create some variables. And once again, this is like a function. So if you're familiar with Arduino, this is basically a function that's called in this button click function. Uh, I do a while loop and I just read in bytes and build my uh, string from the, uh, from the state information from the uh, thermostat. Okay, so I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. If you want this program, you can actually let me know and I can send you the file. Just email me at the Forstronics email address that you'll see at the end of this video and I can send you the file and you can open it up into the App Inventor um, interface and you can see the same thing I'm seeing. So we just looked at the app that we built. I just want to put this note in here. I only made one code change to the um, Arduino code for the thermostat and that was I added a N character to the current state so I send this whole string. I send these one at a time, but you know the Bluetooth basically receives this as one string. And I have this N character, the ampersand I think it's called, uh, but I wanted to add another N character so I knew when to stop reading from my Bluetooth buffer. So I added this. So this code is posted on GitHub. I have the link at the end of this presentation. But just to note, the only change I made to the code was I added this special character at the end so I know when to stop reading in the state. Okay, now let's look at the app in action. Let's look at our finished thermostat with the app controlling it. Okay, here's my tablet. I'm going to open the app. 
You can see the app interface that we talked about. You can see the box for the current temperature. You can see the connect button. You can see the, the boxes for the heat setting and the cool setting, uh, for the temperature of the cool setting and the heat setting. You can see the check boxes to turn the heat on, the cool on, or the fan on. So I'm going to connect, get the state of the thermostat so you can see the current temperature, the heat setting, and the cool setting. I'm going to show you how you can edit one of the temperatures. So if I wanted to change the setting of the cool, I could. Here I'm going to turn the fan on. So I'm going to press the fan checkbox. I'm going to hit update settings. That's going to send the new settings to my thermostat. I have to disconnect for it to take effect. But you could hear the fan turn on. So I'm going to connect again and I'm going to turn the fan off this time. So I'm going to click my checkbox to turn the fan off. I'm going to press update settings because that's going to send my new settings to the thermostat. And then I'm going to disconnect because I have to disconnect for them to take effect. And there you go. Okay, so there is the finished product. You got to see the app in action, which I think is really cool to get to control your thermostat by an app. You can change it in bed, can change it from the couch. You no longer have to get up. I'm really excited to start using this. So that is the project. That is building a smart thermostat part three. You can get the new code from GitHub. That's the Arduino code. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me. Also, too, if you want to get Android code for the App Inventor interface, you can email me at Forstronics. Thank you for listening.